Hello everyone, my name is Chima Russell and today I will be speaking about Mexican muralism uh, movement, uh, which is a movement that started in, in the 1920s. Uh, this video is part of the Doncaster Art Movement project, a project in which we, we talk about various art movements and how they have uh, marked uh, the, the, the history of art. Uh, we've, done, we've done quite a few of them uh, so far, we've done about 20. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is because we want you to understand a little bit more about art um, so that uh, when, when there are art exhibitions um, or cultural uh, events, you can, you can participate uh, without feeling that uh, you, you, don't, you don't know a lot. Uh, these videos are, are for everyone uh, to, to help you to understand a little bit more uh, about, about art. Um, so, uh, what is a Mexican muralism uh, movement? Uh, this this basically is a movement which had to do about, uh, with murals, and by murals we, we mean paintings um, uh, on, on the walls. So, muralism is a promotion of uh, mural paintings. So, uh, paintings of walls. Uh, I've done, I think I've done, uh, I've done a few of them. Uh, uh, a few mural paintings uh, myself. Uh, the Mexican muralism movement started in the 1920s uh, with social and political messages as part of the efforts to, to um, reunify the country under the post-Mexican uh, revolution. Uh, so, uh, a re revolution government. Um, and then from about uh, 1920s to about 1970s, uh, many uh, muralists, uh, muralist, uh, the artists who painted murals, uh, um, their work was quite nationalistic uh, and they had a lot of social and political messages and they were created on public buildings uh, which started a tradition uh, which continues uh, to this day uh, in Mex Mexico and has had uh, impact in other parts of the world including uh, the Americas. Um, this uh, muralism movement was headed by three major painters. Uh, you had Diego Rivera, you have uh, Jose Clemente Orozo, and David Alfaro uh, Siqueiros. I'm not very good with the names. They were called the three uh, great ones. Uh, they believed that art was the highest form of human expression and a key force in social uh, revolution. So they had quite lofty ideals. Uh, their work defined the movement uh, of uh, muralism and created a mythology around the Mexican Revolution and the Mexican um, and the Mexican people, which is still influential to to this day. At the time the works were painted, they also served as a release of emotional tension over what the country had endured during during the war. How, however, the three artists were different in their artistic expression. Uh, Rivera's works were utopian and uh, idealistic. Uh, Orozo's uh, work were critical and pes um, pessimistic. And, uh, and the most radical uh, were the works of uh, Siqueiro, uh, which uh, focus heavily on sci scientific um, uh, future. Uh, the differences among the three uh, artists have much to do uh, with how each experience, uh, how each of the artists experience uh, the Mexican um, the Mexican Revolution. Rivera was in Europe during the revolution and had never experienced the horrors of the war. Because of this, his art primarily focused on what he perceived to be the social benefits uh, from the war. Um, so Orozo and Siqueiro both fought in the war, uh, so you can imagine their perspective uh, was different. Uh, and this subsequently resulted, uh, resulted in a more pessimistic approach to their work uh, when depicting uh, the, the revolution. Of the three artists, uh, Diego Rivera was the most traditional in terms of uh, his painting styles, uh, drawing uh, heavily from European uh, modernism. His themes were Mexican, uh, were, were, were Mexican, often scenes of everyday life and images of uh, ancient uh, Mexico. Uh, he originally painted this in bright colors in the European style but uh, he modified it to more earthy tones to Im uh, imi uh, imitate indigenous uh, murals. 
and his greatest contribution is the promotion of Mexico's uh, indigenous past into how many people both inside and outside of the country view it. Uh, Jose Clemente Orozo also uh, began um, with a, a European style of expression. However, his art developed into an angry denunciation of oppression, uh, especially by those he considered to be uh, an evil and brutal class. His work was somber and dire, uh, with emphasis on human suffering and fear of the technology of the future. Uh, uh, Rose's uh, work show uh, his works show uh, an expre- expressionism, expressionist uh, use of color, slashing lines and parodic uh, distortions of the human figure. Uh, you could you could see that uh, there's something inside of him wanting uh, something really strong, wanting to come out through through his work. Uh, David Afaro Siqueiro was the youngest and he was the most radical of of these three artists. He joined the army when he was 18 and experienced the revolution from the front lines. So he can imagine what what he he painted were quite uh, visceral. Uh, Secure was the most dedicated and his work is also characterized uh, with uh, rapid sweeping bold lines and the use of modern uh, enamels and machinery uh, and other elements related to technology. His style showed a futuristic blurring of form and technique. Um, His fascination with technology as it relates to art uh, was exemplified when he emphasized uh, the mass communications uh, visual technology of photograph and motion picture in his uh, eventual movement towards uh, neorealism. Uh, neorealism, uh, uh, also known as structural realism, is a theory of international relations which says that power is the most important factor in, in international relations. Okay, that that needs um, that again is, is a whole new topic on its own. Uh, his, uh, his radical politics made him unwelcome in Mexico uh, and the United States, so he did most of his uh, work in South America. However, his masterpiece is considered to be the Polyform Cultural Securos. Uh, which is located in in, in Mexico City. Uh, Mexican artists up to up to this day still produce murals and other forms of art with the same message. Murals can be found in uh, on government buildings, former churches and schools uh, in nearly every part of the country. Me- Mexican muralism brought mural painting back to the forefront of uh, of Western art, uh, promoting the idea of mural painting as a form of expre- expressing social and political uh, ideas. Um, so, so mural painting was is, is something that is quite uh, quite strong in Mexico, in Mexico today, and um, and the movement ha- has sort of spread to, to the rest of uh, the region. So, this is sort of a brief uh, a brief uh, introduction to to Mexican muralism, uh, and I encourage you to read up a little bit more about this uh, f- fascinating subject. And most importantly, uh, search the internet; you 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 see a Lots of love, lots of uh, uh, wonderful um, examples of, of Mexican muralism uh, painting. Uh, and why not try some yourself? We all have walls at home, you know. You could try uh, and depict uh, perhaps what is happening in the UK today. Depict depict that uh, uh, on a painting uh, on on a wall uh, in your in your home. I hope this uh, video has been of use to you. Uh, this project is sponsored by the Doncaster uh, Council Fighting Back Fund, and uh, we 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 hope to see you very soon. Thank you. This is Chima Russell.